entertainment, special interviews, styling tips, and more. Today we have a special interview with the owner of London Couture Boutique. And today I also want to introduce our guest host, will be a host co-host Rita. Hey everybody. Hello. So thank you for coming today. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good. So right now we're going to ask her a few questions. She have a, a nice boutique with a lot of great items that you will love. Now the first thing that you know I would love for people for you for people to know is what inspired you to open up a boutique? What inspired me? Uh, since I was a little girl I have always been into fashion. I did nursing for about 10 years and I got it got a little redundant and I said you know what I can't stay stuck here I want to do what I want to do exactly. so um, I quit <laughs> and um, glory to God the first day that I went to go try to find a, a, a store I got approved and I moved oh, in amazing. a month later <laughs> that's wow. amazing yeah, it is amazing good so. God work fast. Yeah, I, yeah, I have lot. to remember that. Yeah, you know, he does. Yep. Just having faith. And it's so funny, he kept telling me to leave, 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 and I wasn't listening. And right. one day he was like, you just need to quit. I quit, took a month off, found a location the same day, got accepted. Wow. Yep. Man. Isn't that amazing? Now that right there, <laughs> you know, is, is, is faith. It's water yeah. walking faith. Yep. You got to wow. trust God. Yeah, You know, it. that's yep. amazing. So how did you come up with the name of the boutique? Uh, my daughter's middle name is London, so I just mm -hmm. said London Couture Boutique. So that's the name of the store. You know, we have to set away for our children. So once I leave, you know, she has something to move on, you know, so she can open, have a store and um, French off, do franchise. Uh, I'm sorry, um, French off to her own business. You know? Okay. Yeah, uh, so that's why. Yeah, I mean, we all are leaders. That's right. You know, our kids are leaders. That's right. So, Trevera, mm -hmm. let me ask you, what made you open a boutique here in Baltimore? Why did that become your central location? Um. Going to Nordstrom's and going to Bloomingdale's, it gets, like I said, it gets a little redundant. And I wanted something that's unique. I like unique stuff, you know, stuff that other stores don't carry. I like, I hate going somewhere and everybody has all the same Oh, thing. my gosh. Yeah. You sound oh just God. like me. Oh. I mean, it's, it's agitating. Yes. yes. A clone, like, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yep, so and it's good to have different boutiques because a lot of people have the same, yeah, like, yeah, yeah the same, same things. Yeah. And you just like, oh, my gosh, yeah. get different. Yeah. That's my whole thing. I, I, Me, personally, mm -hmm. I like when people step outside the box. Right, exactly. Because to me, that's right. originality. Exactly. Be, you know, exactly. versus anything else. Yeah. So. Absolutely. You know, I mean, like, who walks around and wants to look like a, the double mint twins? And stuff? <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, people it's... used to do that back in the day. You know, <laughs> like, who's going to do that? And then you yeah. go out like, oh, my gosh, yeah, my outfit. Yeah. We went to the same store. Yeah. It's because they sell the same, same things. things. Yeah. So mm. Oh my gosh, yes. they That's do. One of the reasons why. Oh my gosh, who is your favorite designer? I don't really have a favorite designer. Like I said, I like a lot of unique stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I went to the trade show last year, which was amazing. It was uh, really where was it located? In Vegas. Vegas. Mm. So Ooh, I, met yeah. over, I, I didn't, I didn't like get that 200 memo. Two hundred different. <laughs> they didn't get the memo. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I met, can you like, tell us the memo next yeah. time? Yeah. Next time. I will. We just missed it. <laughs> Yep, it was in February. Where I had to get the memo oh, the yes. next yes. time. Yes. Yes. Not yes. this time, but we'll get the memo. You hear that, everybody, get the memo. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, a lot of people are afraid to branch off. So I went to Vegas. I met, like, over 250 new vendors, people who just wow. graduated from college all over Amazing. the world. Amazing. Yeah. So, oh, that sounds like an awesome experience, it though. Was, it was very awesome. Wow. So, yeah. So, can you tell us what are some of the highs and the lows of owning your own business? I'm sure a lot of people oh love know that. Oh my gosh! So I know, right? Oh, now we get into yeah. the fancy tea. Yeah, let's start get with your the lows. Take up. Um, yeah, um, the lows. Um, you think people are for you, but when you open up your own business, people talk about you. They run <sighs> She's from you. Yeah. Where's the fan? <laughs> And they hit, and they pretend that they want you to um, to grow, but they really don't. You know, I've been broken. Mm. To, I've been open for two years, and my store has been broken into three. Wow. Times. Do you think wow. you was target? Of, of course, of course, of course. Wow. Because the area is in yeah, because is I was wonderful. The, I was the only store in that block who got hit three oh times. Oh my gosh! Really? Mm -hmm. Well, okay. So you mentioned your store being broken into several times, mm -hmm. right? What made you stay after such blatant disrespect and disregard for your property? I mean, what no is it that motivates you? Yeah, that? no weapon formed against me. Sure. Whoa! Amen. Hey! Amen. Can we now you just got some tea right there. Can we get your cup is running over, honey. It's running over. Did you hear that cup yes. is running over? Amen. Hello. Amen. All right. Oh I'm... my gosh. Okay. So let's get into the fun stuff. Huh? Okay. 
So, <laughs> is there anything that disturbs you when people come into your shop when it yeah. comes to their style? Please, just let us know. Um, I'm going to see this. Um, She's just going to get into it. I have a lot of yes. and I'm, I'm not afraid to say this. Okay. Thank you. That's next to it. Because I want people to get, tell get me close to your microphone. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's so they can hear you. That's next to my store. She sends people in my store to look at the tags and stuff. And I'm like, oh, oh wow. Why don't you do the homework like I did? So right, right, listen. right. <laughs> Um, so that's one of the things that really irritate me. So you know you're not going to Rainbow, but you're coming up in my exactly my like, boutique. And they won't go to a big store or a big franchise store and do that to the. I don't want to persuade you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they won't do that to them, but they're doing to them. I said, no, 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 it's not my price tags. The labels to see where I get my stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh you can't. So has she ever just tried to come over and just she ask? She's a customer or? of mine. Oh, what? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So let me. Okay. So we have this yeah. thing here in Baltimore where they say like you know crabs in a barrel. Mm -hmm. What? Speak on that for me. Crabs in a barrel. I know. I don't really know too much about that because I pretty much do my own thing, and I'm the type of person what I want for myself. I want for my sister. When I mean sister, exactly. I mean any woman, black, white, Puerto Rican, Chinese. I yep. want all of us to grow. It shouldn't right. matter. Right. It should not right. matter. Yeah. I, I really, I really can't speak on that. So would you say the the most or the majority of your support comes from people here in Baltimore? Yeah. Or well, I have a lot of people from DC <clears throat> that come down to. I have a lot of people from Philly that come up to. So. It's a variety of people. Before we get away from this, because of course I have more questions, mm -hmm. you know, tell people where, you know, you are located at. Sure. I'm located at 1716 Fleet Street, and that's in Fells Point, um, right off of Broadway. Make your next move your best move. Y'all yeah, heard okay. that. 1716 Fleet Street. Hello. Absolutely. <laughs> so, let's get into more fashion. Sure. So, okay. Do anybody ever come to you in there and their fashion is so off from yours and ask you, you know, um, do something look right? Do you be real with them? Do you keep it straight Absolutely. and say, no, honey, Absolutely. that does not look right <laughs> on you. Absolutely. We're not going to do this. Right <laughs> I love you. You are my sister. Absolutely. You do that. Yeah, absolutely. Good, because, you know, yeah. you go places, people, you know, I think that's very important when people have a boutique because you are their stylist. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You got to be honest with them, yeah. not because you want them to buy it. Yeah. You know, it's because, yeah. you know, you really care. I like residual now, you guys funds. Keep it. Exactly. I like people to keep coming back, coming right. back. I'm not going to lie. So you want them to go out, dollar. somebody really yeah. compliment them, not it's because, hey, hey, where did you get that hey, from? She bought it. London Couture Boutique. That's yes. Yeah. You know, sashaying. You know, right. not looking, you know, all crazy and just no. be like, oh, well, she That's bought it. That's not my it. style. That's Good, nice. because to me, I be feeling disrespectful when I see people walk out of stores and buy stuff. You know, a lot of girlfriends do that. You guys go out and that one girlfriend always looks a mess and nobody wants to I was just getting ready to touch on that, yes, honey, listen, I, I don't that. want a friend no, around me no, that does sense. not tell me oh, how oh, I'm oh, looking. Oh. You better stop me before oh, I go God. out the door. If I got something in my nose, my dress stuck in my skirt, so or, the, right. you know, or you better let That's me know, right. or our me. friendship right. is over. Wait a minute, you're <laughs> telling me that I can't leave out with some, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> So you oh, telling me oh that I cannot leave out with some slouch shots because no. the stuff is coming back to these days. No, no, no. I'm not saying I'm not gonna have you look I'm going outside looking a mess because I'm into anything, you know. Right. Wear coats, seventies, sixties, forties, I do it all. Okay. You understand? I'm not gonna have you going outside looking a mess. That's good because yeah. you know what? Sometimes I'm gonna be honest, I let them go. You know what I'm oh. saying? I know. Sorry I, I to be disrespectful. Because you, you know why? Because you do, sometimes my style is not their style. Exactly. No, it's you know not what about I'm the style. No. But no, no, no. I mean, a mess. Like clothes, wrinkles. I just don't. In the club and, and, and be oh, like no. barefoot. I mean, I know this is like no. going all over the subject, yeah, but I'm just no. saying. You know. I'm walking away. Oh, you're walking away? Okay. Absolutely. Oh, I just don't bother that's people. So that I feel in case I decide to go barefoot. Yeah. You know, <laughs> now if your hair out of place, I'm going to be like, yeah, girl, let me plant right. you. Right, right. You know, if, if you're, you know, something, Lord, you need to button a nip up in the back. That's what I need to make. Yeah. But if yeah. you're a mess, I ain't been with you. But go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. But other than people's styles, if you know, they want to be country, I'll let them be country because country is their style. Right. You know, um, everybody might not like country. Some people. 
who is granny granny you know what i'm saying as long as you don't look like my mother because when i want to take my mother out i take my mother out so yeah, yeah no comment if you're, not gonna look, if you're gonna look like that then we have a problem you know we have a big problem everyone so my next question sure 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 so my next question is um since we talk about style what's the first thing that you look at when you see a man what do i track you about his teeth his teeth mm -hmm. his teeth and his fingernails and his fingernails yeah. oh, so you own so like you if they own have a teeth and nose have a chip teeth chip tooth chip tooth <laughs> Remember, but, but fabulous got his. Oh, he got a fix. Yeah, and Chip too. Looking so not fabulous. Not all of us. Forty k on his teeth. Yes. Yeah. What about? But what if he didn't? Hmm. What up? What if he didn't? Now these are some top. That's you know what I'm saying? Senior. Heavy. That's a oh, different. That's a different. You can tell. Like I said, you can tell by a man's hands and his fingernails and his teeth if you take care of yourself. Okay. Just because he has a trip tooth doesn't mean he's a dirty cat. Exactly. If his teeth is brown and yellow. Oh, oh then we had a problem. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what about? He shouldn't the, even open his mouth. What about? They do. What about they the shoes? They look like this. They're, Go. They the first ones. So what about? What about shoes? <laughs> what about their shoes? What? What about that? They could be running out the house. That don't really matter. That doesn't make a difference. They can okay. run out the house. Because you usually okay. want to say yeah. shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, not me. But yeah. what about clothes-wise? Clothes clothes okay. okay. That doesn't matter. Clothes on wise? No. Nope. Yeah. Because you could be running out the house, you know? Okay. Absolutely. I, and teeth. Listen, and I've teeth. I've done it before on purpose just right. to see what people would say. I would dress down to see how much see attention I would get. Yeah, and see what. Oh my god! And <laughs> you know what? And yeah, listen, because the ones that really talk to me when I'm dressed down mm -hmm. are the ones that has my best interest. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like they get my attention. Yeah. But those that you know want to see you because we're not fancy twenty four seven. Let's no, just be no, honest, right, okay? Right, right. Not even me. I'm not. Right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start taking some selfies when I first wake right, up right, right, just right. to show y'all I'm not fancy, okay? Right. Right. But yeah, seriously, you yeah. know, skin, nails, and teeth. Yeah. So it's it. not a certain style that you would like to see your man in, like in oh, suits. The, what, and, yeah, I, you I know, do, but, uh, you don't like skinny jeans, or you want them to wear baggy jeans. jeans. Okay, anything. When your pants are hanging off your. Pants. Oh no, that is a no. no. Oh, I, I don't yeah. want to see your boots. Eh? No, that is so irritating. Oh, oh my that gosh. should be that, irritating. Yeah. Hey, look, that I don't is even a like whole, to see kids, men. That's a mm mm mm. That's when I say that's a whole nother. We gonna need another segment for that. We gonna need a whole nother show, okay? With the pants sagging. Oh my. So how do you sag your pants with a belt? That is so. I'm so perplexed about that. But and the the crazy part is though you know they so thug. But what if somebody come shooting? What they gonna do? They gonna be the first one to get caught, right? They gonna be running, right? Like exactly. Doing a, you know how they be doing the uh, jumping bags? Like, I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh yeah, my god! I can't imagine exactly. that. Exactly. I can't imagine that. Right. I'm like, get this. <laughs> so let me tell you what's like my pet peeve that I cannot stand for okay. anybody. We gotta do the dose. Okay. Ashy elbows. <laughs> I cannot. Oh my. Gosh. Will not. Will not, will tolerate. not talk to me away. Will Shabbos. not tolerate, tolerate anybody. But what if I just got out the shower? I would. Well, you have to shower. <laughs> so you so out of that house, and I had to make and a run. And you do like this, and your elbows like are ashy. Like said, and I had to make a run. No, no run. <laughs> Put some lotion on, baby. Oh you know what is up? No you know, exception. Some people talk this about the This is a tough head. cookie right here. But yeah. I am really <laughs> disturbed right. because I seen a lot of it this so week. So you talking to somebody. I seen a lot so of it this week. And I, and, and I look at it, I'm like, that elbows are real look. ashy. If you're talking to somebody, you want to walk in the back and look at the elbows. Right, right, right. No, no. But if they do like this, I'm like, ah. <laughs> you know, like the elbows is yeah. ash. No, 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 no. You know, just, just doing one like this. This is all right, babe. Right. You know, right. With, right. with some lotion with on With some it. lotion on your hand. Get some Vaseline, like, right. baby. Right. Yeah. Okay. Nice right. old elbows you got there. <laughs> Tell them, uh, <laughs> Tell them God bless them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just wondered that everybody feel disturbed like I did. I really did. Like, I'm just like, okay, you know, I'm not perfect. I it am is. nowhere <laughs> near perfect. Right. Right. But I just think people forget certain spots when it come down to lotion. Oh, yeah. It's just like, hey, baby, why mm -hmm. you, you, you don't want to, you know, put some. Yeah. So what about the kneecaps? Oh, oh my God. Gosh. That's worse. <laughs> that is now, I just feel like something. Oh, this on you. I feel like something wrong. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I feel disturbed. Right. right. That's the end of the That they need help. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I say um, skin, nails, and teeth. Okay. I understand teeth is, you know what, I can understand teeth. Yeah, teeth is very you know, you know, a chip tooth, yeah, here and there, a big old gap, look like you, you know, could fit yeah. another tooth yes. up in there. Yeah. I 
I agree. Is yeah, but I don't <laughs> like, you know, yeah. Now, if they have yellow teeth, there's something wrong with you. Mm -mm. I mean, I don't even, I'm not going to want you to talk mm -mm. to me. Mm -mm. I don't want you to smile. No, no, I don't no, no. want you to do nothing that's but go to the dentist. That's the end that's Oh, my goodness. That's the only thing. <laughs> I'm going to find you know, out. Like, you. you can go to a gun, you know, they have a GoFundMe account now for anything. <laughs> So these days you can really go Lord to that Jesus. and like, look, he needs his teeth. Stay, fit. stay near. Everybody, Jesus, stay please. Near. <laughs> I am near. So no ash, no, no, no ash, no ash, no ash, no, no yellow and brown teeth. No teeth. No. Okay, and no pants. I, you know what? I'm gonna start carrying lotion in, oh. in, in, in my car. Lord, I actually I do. I, I have you lotion, do? coconut oil. Vaseline. I have coconut oil. Give it away. <laughs> coconut, coconut oil. Yeah, coconut oil. Yeah. Uh, he's a uh, Vaseline. Have people look like they about to get ready to get butted. And biscuits and like come on baby I don't remember okay. you to look like so, you're about to so slip can I fly. ask you this um Trevera mm -hmm. um let's let's go back to this can I ask you sure. if you could give any tips to anyone that you know is aspiring to open a boutique and you know or just start a business period like what what tips would you give them um do your homework definitely do your homework because like I said I just jumped out there and when I first started buying clothes, I was just buying them from anywhere, not looking at the quality of clothes. Yeah, okay. that, um, so that's, that's very important. So important. You know? um, so yeah, I think you should go to the magic show and look around before you open up a boutique. I went to several boutiques. Mm -hmm. You know, I try to support everyone. Right, right, right. And it was one boutique. It wasn't yours. Don't worry, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> talk much. I'm done. But it was one boutique that you know, when, as soon as you put. It, it, it could fit me, right. but then it ripped. Right, the, exactly. Oh, wow. And then, yeah. you know, you pay. Mm -hmm. When you think of boutiques, you mm -hmm. don't go in there and think it's going to pay $5. Right. You know, you're right. going to pay, you know, right. a nice, you know, right. penny for it. Mm -hmm. So you expect that the stuff would be good quality. That's all I ask Absolutely. for is good quality. I don't want to put on something yeah. and, you know, it rips. That's like, why I said no. do your homework. It's very important. Do your important. homework, yeah. yeah do so, ladies, work. let me ask you this. Um would you prefer online shopping versus going to an actual boutique? Because that's always like a a, I a big like thing to with try people. Stuff on. I like to feel the material. I'm not an online shopper. Okay. I'm not. You too. You're not an online. No. Um, what would you prefer? I prefer to try. My I own. love to see the stuff, mm -hmm. but here and there I will order, take my chances. Be well, praying. if I'm familiar with the boutique or familiar right. with the store, that's right, a different right, scenario. Right, right. But just yeah. to try somebody else, no. And I, I've only, I'm only saying that because you know I notice like mm -hmm. being on social media, mm -hmm. and I've seen so people try that online thing, and right. then when they get these garments, this is oh this is my, if they story. don't look like a, you know, this like is, a Halloween this costume, is a, this story is hilarious. <laughs> A, a friend of mine, she's much older than me. She's 67. She ordered a dress. So uh -huh. she's actually a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Therese, I'm going to need you to stop it. Because like, he's wise. Older okay. people wise. Right, I'm exactly. I agree. She ordered a dress. The dress was a 4X. Mm -hmm. This is funny. So she was like, you know, you want to try this. So I didn't want to hurt her feelings. Okay. I say, no. You don't help okay. She took that dress me. out, that little plastic bag. It was too small for me. Oh, wow. And I'm a size four. So it was more like a 4T. <laughs> Versus a four X. So that's why I'm like I'm shopping just online. Saying. Yeah. 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 I mean, that happened to, you know, my mom one day. Really? You know, because you these Asians will psych you up. Exactly. And they are uh, in your potato they, sack. They, they <laughs> get one of their little tiny self measuring. Mm -hmm. Like, you said, Fuji yeah. Bay. Oh, that's a good And, yeah. you know, so it then sent it off to somebody exactly. when they was really a they size one. They don't care as long as they get their money. And get then at the end of the day, when you order something from overseas, like, for instance, China, it takes money <laughs> to get your money back. Yeah, yeah. Time for that. If, yeah. If you get it back, right? If you get it back, right? I mean, you best to read those little small or tiny, mm -hmm. you know, words that be at the mm -hmm. bottom, like yeah. no refunds. <laughs> okay, they make it the smallest words yeah. that you need, you know, to put like some kind of magnifier. Or oh, they want to give you a credit. No refund. <laughs> right. Like I don't want no credit, credit to get back. Oh, yeah. so you want to send me a different? Look, like, you want to send me a different potato sack this time? No, no, thank you. I'm done. Yeah, I think I learned my lesson. Exactly. No, no. Oh, no. See, I prefer uh, to go inside the store. I'm, yeah. old, I'm old school with it. Okay. So, is there anything that you would want to clear the air, or we call it, mm -hmm. let them know sub, um, segment? Mm -hmm. Meaning that is there some rumor now, or is it something that you want someone to know about you and your business mm -hmm. um, that you want to clear the air to let them know? Um, I really don't 
don't. I really don't care what people think or say about me. Yeah. Like, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I just don't. I just don't because I'm blessed. Amen. That's right. Yeah. So, it's, <laughs> so it's, let me let you know. Right. Exactly. Like I <laughs> let said, me let you know. I've been broken in two, three times, and I'm still here. So. And you still standing. Yeah. That is that's yeah. amazing. Because yeah. you know, to be honest with you, I've been learning to do that myself. Mm -hmm. To kind of like take everybody out of the equation and not worry so much about what they think about me, to. but worry more about what will, I think you about will wear me. Yourself down spiritually. Yeah, spiritually. yeah. No. So that's that's real yeah. big. Yeah. So you said there's no misconceptions or anything not that you all. would. Nope. Not, not at all. No, I really don't care what people say about me. I don't. That's awesome. So what is your goals within the next five years? My goal in the next five city? years is to, um, like I said, branch off and open up. Um, just not for women, but for men and children. Absolutely, too. that would be awesome. Yeah. Yep. So it can be a family thing. You know? Well, for one more time, can you just please give the information? Sure. You know, about London, your boutique. Absolutely, London Couture Boutique, one seven one six Fleet Street, um, in. South Point, Maryland. Okay. See you soon, ladies. Well, there you <laughs> be have there. It. Yes, don't guys. beat me there. Beat yes. me there. Absolutely. Where you have it, Miss London Couture herself. Yes. If you are looking for the yes, lady, yes. she can stains. Go and pick it up. Yes. That's right. So then now I have another question that mm -hmm. I would love to ask. Sure. <laughs> sure. sure yeah. Sure. This is off the record, by the way. Okay. I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> you know people get nervous around. You're like, wait a minute, what you about to ask? Where does your style that you I don't have one. Look, look at me now. I have one that you prefer. I, I mean, some people right. I can, have I their it own unique, you know, I wear it all. That's you wear it all. And that is good. So you're versatile. I, I when you on, can I be versatile. Los Angeles King. It's some, some knee boots. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh, wow. but, you, but, but you know what? A lot of people can't be versatile. Exactly. So that's I'm that's not. a good thing. Because when they try, be an epic fail sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. this, like, I'm, so when you I try. This is a tough cookie. That's a good one. So you try. This is a cookie. You try. But I, I'm, 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 the, I'm the same way. I, I Me, personally, I prefer baseball. Like, I'm the one I wear a baseball cap right. backwards with my with my too. gown. That's yeah. just me. It's not a gown. It's heels on. No, I wear no, no, no. With my ball gown, not my uh, night gown. Oh, your ball gown. I'm about to say with your night gown. I, mean, I just know. Look, no, I listen. Said. If you're into fashion, you know, it's about pushing the envelope. Like, Absolutely. and again, thinking outside the box. So you got to do what the right. average person yep. is not going to do, exactly. you know? And that's what you can consider yeah. fashion to me. Yep. To me. So uh, do okay. you think it's anything that's different about your shop? Like what makes your shop unique? A lot of my clothes come from London. So Ooh. London is one year ahead of um, the States. Ooh, yeah. And that's kind of like the fashion capital, right? Exactly. Right. Right. exactly. Right. Like I said, I met a lot it of great people sense. over there. So I met a lot of women that was coming out of school that was 19, 18. I'm like, you graduated from fashion school at 18, wow. 18. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're serious. Yeah, they like, do not plan when they say see? this is the fa like the fashion mm -hmm. capital, that's exactly oh, what they yeah. mean. Yeah. yeah. So, so, fashion yeah. capital too. It's growing everywhere. Yep, exactly. You know, it's growing mm -hmm. everywhere. It's such a big thing. Mm -hmm. And it's such a, it's, it's very amazing. Right. I'm so excited about mm -hmm. fashion. Yeah. I love it, yeah. you know. So one day we got to, um, um, next year, maybe we can all go together. Oh, yeah. We're yeah. going to get the memo yeah. next year. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> yeah make sure you send that memo. memo. Next year. Trip. We got, <laughs> I, oh, I'm, I'm down. I'm with it. Yeah. You know, every chance I can get to travel on with, especially when it comes to fashion. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's do absolutely. it. Absolutely. Let's do it. Absolutely love it. I appreciate it. I'm going to hold you to that now. Oh, yeah, we're going to hold you to that. Hold up, because I'm putting it in my calendar. <laughs> <laughs> you said on what day? Right. But right. seriously, yeah, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. So, you know, I've seen, I, I visit the store mm -hmm. again, which I think is very, you know, mm -hmm. awesome, mm -hmm. you know, and I see, so do you plan weekly of how much of my mannequins in my mirrors? I or do. How, yeah. how often do you change them? I do. I have not changed them in a while because, like I said, I just got broken into. So my oh, money's gosh. a little funny and right now. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. We, we, um, we, so we, I haven't yeah. changed them. I'm waiting for shipment. Thank God. I just ordered a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. okay. Um, so I'm waiting for that to come in, so I will be changing them soon. And so, this new shipment is for spring or summer? It's for, it's for fall, spring days. So I'm not ordering Awesome. Oh, Y'all yeah. heard that, ladies. Y'all better get where, down here. I have a lot of people, a lot of people that, that's from out of town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Says, so right. Some, somebody might want a, a bikini set right now. You know. Right. Right. For us right now. 
Right. I mean, no, if you trade, oh, you know what? That's a, you. that's a good and I, and I like I, that, yeah. that right. you can go inside right. the right. store exactly. no matter what because you're traveling, exactly. you know, because that's when you have to order yep. online because mm -hmm. they didn't set out, right. exactly. you know, their summit mm -hmm. out. I yes. mean, items mm -hmm. when you know you're ready to go travel. Yep. Just come in so, yeah, that definitely make your boutique, yeah. you know, unique. unique. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because I don't see most boutiques doing that. So, that, yeah, that's, I like that idea. Okay. I never even thought about it like that. Right, awesome. Exactly. I want to say, okay, see something to oh, my sisters. Oh, absolutely. Sure. I want to say something to my sisters out here. Um, Make sure you guys listen. Listen. the mic a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen, guys, it's a lot of black women who own boutiques you need to you have to support us we have to you have to keep us in the game you understand me Nordstrom's Fashion Nova all of them are making millions of dollars you understand you need to keep it in the family circulate that money you understand me and and to piggyback <laughs> off that that is definitely right like we need to support each other Absolutely. so that we can recycle our money Absolutely. and that way our money stays in our community Absolutely. you know I never understood how which don't get it wrong like I don't mind supporting you know like those people that we don't know yeah. but at the same time support those that you do know you have to. because that money comes back to you Absolutely. if you didn't know you understand Absolutely. me so well that's just and, my and take I have on something it. to say mm -hmm. on top of that mm -hmm. um when you do support your people, your people have to give that service, not you. Right. Because I hear Absolutely. that saying a that, lot. That, that's true. Absolutely. We do have problems that's true. That's with our true. people, you know, and the type of customer that's service attitude. that yeah. they give. Yeah. You know, so if you are one of those people that you want, you know, what they call our people, right. that you want <laughs> us to support you, you have to be sure of the customer service that you give yeah, these people. How energy, you yes. act towards yes, somebody. Energy, your yes, energy. energy. Right. Yeah, because right. that means so much. It does. It you does. know, yeah. hi, how are you? Yep. Don't look like the world's over when mm -hmm. I come in this yep. store and be like, would you like, oh, get, e I, not I, even your employees should act like I, that. You know, I have a story. I, have a, I had a customer. This, it, was, it was a man. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say his name. It was a man. He came in the store, right? But he was acting so weird. He stayed in the store for like an hour, just circling around. This is an hour? You never. Yes. Jesus. I'm like, oh my God, man, should I call the cops? <laughs> Do you know that in man? 25 minutes, I Do will. You know that man almost bought half of the store. You wow. never judge Yeah, you never wow. judge a book by the cops. And see, look oh, at me. Hold up. I was going to call the police in 25 minutes. <laughs> look, to raise it. bought my whole now you store. Just, now you just contradicted yourself. <laughs> <just, laughs> no, because, I would have called the police when but, you looking strange and you walking around for a whole right. half an hour. But, but listen, did but did I you ever ask him? You you did say something to him, though. I was right? a, I was a little afraid. Okay. But, you know, you had Because that's a part of customer service, too. Yeah, yeah. And he tried to call someone. I thought they was for his girlfriend. It was for him. I guess he was a little embarrassed. Oh, okay. He must was filling you out. Right, exactly. Took him an hour to fill you out. And that's fine because it paid off. Well, he filled you out and filled you up, honey, <laughs> at the off. same time. But can we go back to what you said as far as the customer service? Okay. Because um, what I realized here in Baltimore, mm -hmm. um, and the, like I'm not originally from Baltimore mm -hmm. for anybody that didn't know. <laughs> I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. So for no, you know, for the people that didn't know. But anywho, here in Baltimore, what I notice is people only support. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong. People that they think is either popping oh in the limelight, yes, or so you know true. what I'm saying. Like in in sure. in yeah. in my opinion, it's mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. What does that have to do with anything? And sometimes those ones that you support, that you feel like it's popping at the moment, mm -hmm. they end up giving you like the worst customer service, overcharging you all and not appreciating you. Well, thank you. So this wrapped up the first three minutes of the show. We will be right back. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. <laughs>